Zero Derma Pigmentosum. There once lived a pale boy named Andy who never went outside during the day. Was he a child at night? Surviving on something other than human sustenance. No. Andy was just an unfortunate victim of Zero Derma Pigmentosum. So what exactly is Zero Derma Pigmentosum? Zero Derma Pigmentosum is an autosomal recessive disorder that is caused by a mutation in at least one gene involved in UV-induced DNA damage repair. This process is known as nucleotide excision repair, or for short, NER. The disorder leads to extreme sensitivity to sunlight that may result in freckles, blisters, flaky skin, and eventually fatal skin cancer. Normally, when DNA is damaged by UV rays, the damaged region is recognized by proteins. Other proteins are then recruited to help unwind DNA and excise the damaged region. Once the damaged region is removed, polymerase repairs the DNA. The classic cause of xeroderma pigmentosum is a mutation in a gene known as XPA, which is shown in pink. So what is the exact role of XPA? XPA encodes a protein that is recruited by both XPC and R23 proteins that recognize the region of damaged DNA. Then, XPA recruits ERCC1 and XPF to the lesion so they can excise the damaged segment. Therefore, without XPA function, we hypothesize that the damaged segment would not be excised. Thus, damaged DNA will accumulate and lead to mutated cells. To test this hypothesis, we will use reverse genetics with C. elegans, which have orthologs to human XPA, which are XPA1 or RAD3. In our proposed experiment, we can use RNAi to remove XPA from a worm. Our first control would be untreated and should have a wild-type phenotype. For the second control, we want to make sure that the process of adding double-stranded RNA does not affect gene expression. So, we would take a double-stranded RNA sequence for XPA, scramble it so it no longer matches the XPA gene, and add to worms. As a result, these worms should have a wild-type phenotype. For the third worm, we would add double-stranded RNA specific for XPA, which should lead to the removal of the XPA gene and result in a mutagenized worm. If we treat the control worms with UV rays, we should see UV resistance because cells would still be able to perform NER. However, the mutant worms without XPA should be UV sensitive because the cells cannot perform NER without XPA. This would support our hypothesis that XPA is required for NER and its loss plays an important role in xeroderma pigmentosum.